Whoa. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess. Welcome to the video. Um, Luna wants to play. She's super hyper right now. Um, but it's been a while. I'm super excited to be back. And as always, it's going to be a good day. If you guys are new, my name is Patty Lifts. I'm a WMBF Pro natural men's physique competitor, and I'm prepping for a show, multiple shows this year, and hoping to compete at Worlds if I can get over the border. Because I currently live in Canada, and uh, you know, looks like there's a second wave coming. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get into the States, um, because WMBF Worlds is actually in LA this year. And it would be such a shame to miss that. I love going to LA. Um, but to get that going, I have a couple updates on how I am training. Um, I switched some things up, so I'm really excited to share that with you guys today. But first, I need to take my pre-workout because we're about to go to the gym. So you guys know I only take the best, and I'm going to be taking my Ghost Whiskey Sour. My ultimate favorite flavor is the Cherry Limeade. Um, you guys probably already know that. But Whiskey Sour, my boy Rob Lipset dropped this. This is absolutely fire. Um, it's a totally different type of flavor, so um, I definitely recommend that. And I'm going to be taking a shot of Ghost Amino, so they do have some EAAs. And what I've been doing this prep, I've um, been paying attention to nutrient timing, and I'm gonna get that into a little bit more detail um, later on in this video once I get to the gym. So I just switched over to the point and shoot, so sorry if the quality dropped a bit. Um, it's a little bit easier in the gym when I do it this way. So I actually started doing two a day workouts. Um, I feel like there could be benefits to this. I'm not doing two full workouts but I am splitting up my volume so the volume that I am performing um, is going to be at a higher quality um, now that I have my sleep in check of course my macro has been in check um, I feel like this could possibly give me a slight edge and I will go over that through a voiceover of today's workout so today's workout is going to be a pull day and um, yeah so I guess I'll get into that voiceover I'll see you guys at the gym What's going on family? Welcome to today's voiceover and today I want to talk about twice daily training and I want to talk about the benefits, why I'm doing it and how it can help you out and some of the problems that can occur if you are training two times per day. So I'll go over this quickly and the first one of course is the increased mathematical volume and what I mean by this is if I'm doing a push day or let's say um, my chest exercises in the morning and I perform a lot of pressing um, I'm going to fatigue my tricep so let's say I take a rest and I go six hours later and perform my tricep exercises I will actually be able to perform a lot more load or a little bit more load um, with my triceps and I feel like this increased volume over time will help improve my physique so since the number one mechanism for muscle hypertrophy is mechanical tension, which directly relates to volume, I feel like this is going to be beneficial, um, but there can be some problems with this. And since um, recovery is going to be an issue, since I will be moving higher loads, we have to pay attention more to my meal timing. You know, if I have my pre-workout meal for the morning session and don't really eat, I'm not going to feel that great for the night session. So I need to make sure my timing is on point for my um, morning session, post-morning session to get ready for my night session and post-night session. And I am going to pay attention more to digestion speeds of food. So let's say after my first workout, I'm not going to take in a lot of fats because it takes longer to digest. I'm going to get in a lot faster digesting carbs to make sure that um, my body is replenishing itself before I hit that night session. And of course, I'm going to help improve my sleep and make sure my fundamentals are in check. So once your fundamentals are in check, I feel like you can perform two times daily training um, to provide provide a slight benefit. Um, and the last reason why I'm doing this, of course, is because I enjoy training. I love going to the gym. And this is another way that uh, I can go more often. And lastly, because it's a challenge, I want to try something new and uh, experiment with myself to see how far I can push the limits. So with this said, I wouldn't do a full um, workout in the morning and night. I would actually take my regular workout, split it in half, 
and start there. And then if possible, maybe add one to two sets to see how you're feeling. Because let's say you add one single set um, every single workout. And especially since I'm working out six times per week, the volume can add up very quickly. So um, start off very slow and then uh, add sets, add volume over time, and I feel like there could be a benefit. So if you guys want me to get into the details, I can talk about um, some of the advanced details or go in a little bit more depth about this topic. Just let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, I appreciate you guys. Um, like the video if you haven't, subscribe if you're not part of the team, and let's get back to the vlog. So we just got back to the house. Um, we went to the grocery store, but first things first, I took in two scoops of my ghost protein. Um, this is, um, excuse me. Um, this is Chips Ahoy. My favorite one is Nutter Butter. If uh, that's on the website, it's, it's sold out right now, but if you guys check the website, it might be there. You guys can use code Patty for 20% off. And some of the stuff we got here, babe got this cooking up, some chicken strips, and I think she got some low calorie teriyaki sauce. Is that where we got? Yes, it's not low calorie, it's gluten free, but it is, actually it is low calorie, but yeah. it's gluten free. And then we got some of the scraps and stuff because baby Luna refeed her a raw diet, raw food diet. A couple other things. Um, for my fast digesting carbs, sometimes I like a little bit of candy. These Starburst gummy sours have been really, really good. And a little bit later on, we're also gonna be making some salmon. So I do recommend some healthy fats. So you can get that from egg yolk, salmon, avocado. We read up on some almond milk, low calorie, and sushi rice. We love sushi rice. I just like the moist stickiness of sushi rice a lot more than regular jasmine or basmati. Um, so we got that. So just picking up a couple things. And of course, you guys know, got the nutter butters on deck. Crispy minis on deck. Hannah watching some Grey's Anatomy. And uh, I actually destroyed the chicken, but um, there was chicken on there chopped up. Hannah put soy sauce, teriyaki. Um, sometimes she put some um, sesame oil, which is really good. Luna, down. And um, we got some salmon. So healthy fats, protein, um, sushi rice, flavor is so good. If you get a light teriyaki sauce, that's not full of sugar and soy sauce. It's actually pretty good macros for a good flavor. And uh, if you have the fats, sesame oil is so, so good. So I'm gonna enjoy this salmon and rice of what's left of it. And uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, down. So I just woke up from a nap. One thing that I'm trying to do is focus on sleep. So if I'm tired, I'll take a nap. When I'm tired to go to bed for the night, I just go to bed. I used to force myself to stay up and do more work. Um, but I am prioritizing myself as an athlete a little bit more. And I want to focus on that recovery. Um, so right now, um, Hannah and I are doing a little bit of work. And I'm about to take a protein shake um, before I actually go do a little bit more exercises because I forgot to do them at the gym. Um, geez, ew, these lights are so weird. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take another protein shake, another, I think one scoop here, and then I'll have a post-workout meal again after that. So I love having my supplement cupboard. It's pretty fire. So we have this little menace. She made a made a mess. That's not a toy. Uh, we came home. We left a garbage bag on the counter. She climbed up, dragged it on the floor, brought a bunch of garbage on there. So we gotta clean that. And Luna is so big. We actually, um, when we went to get her, she was um, categorized as a mini golden doodle, and she was so tiny when we first got her. And she grew so much, and she is currently 28 pounds last time we checked. So she ended up being a medium-sized dog, which I'm okay with. Because you're so cute, right, baby? Yeah. Ah. Oh, you want to play? Are you hiding? Are you shy? Oh, you got a bone. 